Welcome to Boardlandia Countdown. Today we're taking a look at 10 great dungeon crawlers. This is a list that we've compiled with some of the ones we like to play, more so him, <laughs> and some of the ones that our staff also likes to play. True way to expand Hero Quest is with more Hero Quest. And keep in mind, these are all great games. I tried to order them for my preference, what I like. I haven't played a lot of these in a while, in a while so as I play things, they move up and down in the list. So right. that's just how it works. But they're all great. So don't feel like number 10 is so much worse than number one. Hey, Borlandia fans, if you missed out on our last Dent and Ding sale, we got another one coming up on Thursday, July 22nd at 6.30 p.m. Central at youtube.com forward slash Borlandia. We'll keep having some amazing games available at blowout prices, and if you didn't get the game you wanted, don't worry. We're bringing back a second chance offer so you can nab an in-stock game at an amazing price for that night only. Show up to get a great deal and come chat with Carissa, Tim, and the rest of Borlandia team. We'll see you on Thursday, July 22nd at 6.30 p.m. Central. Number 10, an old one, but still good, Hero Quest. Hero Quest is the best game ever made, and anyone who says otherwise is wrong. So this is quite old. It's Milton Bradley, uh, 80s, I think it was made, um, but it's still a very good game. There's another game in this list that was kind of based off of that one. The only way to get this game now is probably eBay or maybe a yard sale, rubber sale, mm -hmm. something like that. It'd be a good find if you find it at one of those. Uh, but it's, it's hard to find. Great game. It's five players. One of the players is Argon, like the evil guy controlling all the, bat, all the monsters. And then there's four other players, which are the good guys. And it's, they're generic cards, so you don't spend all your time like D&D &D style. Like, how much drink do you have? How much charisma? Okay. All that stuff. So there's a barbarian, a wizard, an elf, and a dwarf in the game. And then, All the important stuff. Yeah, and you go through kind of just beating stuff up and then done. I'll use my broadsword. And magic. Fire of wrath. Uh, each, there's scenario, so each scenario, Argon will, he has the book of what it looks like and what the wind condition is and what it's not. And uh, there is miniatures. I think all of these games minus one maybe has miniatures in it, as you'd expect from a dungeon crawl. Um, <laughs> and there was actually a crowdfunding campaign I think it's last year or this year, which raised $4 million to bring this game back. So I think they're on track to bringing it back maybe this year. Yeah. Something. I, I don't so know. You can get any a refreshed version. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Number nine. So this is going to surprise, I think, a lot of people when they hear Dungeon Crawl. Uh, D D. So, yes, I know it's kind of like the classic. D&D, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, it is the dungeon crawl that kind of starts it off. But we're trying to focus on board games. So I moved real D&D down the list a little bit. I know D&D makes board games, and they are dungeon crawlers. Yep. I've played one. It was it was okay. It was good. I think I'd rather play D&D. Yeah, I would rather instead. play D&D instead of the D&D board game. Yeah. But, so number nine, D&D, Dungeons and Dragons. You, this can be both the board game and or the paper or the book version right. uh, of RPG. the game. I don't think I have to explain much more. No. Dungeons and Dragons. Pretty self explanatory. Um, that would inc this would I would lump into Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Pathfinder, Starfinder. I you can fight I guess over D and D or maybe call one this one like RPGs. Yeah, that's probably a better one. RPGs. It's set in your setting, whether it's right. in space. Right. Or you have a lot else. of control over what happens, so. Right. Right. You can make it what you want. Yeah. Number eight, um, a classic, or I shouldn't say classic, like an evergreen for a lot of people. This is a staple game. Yes. Betrayal at House on the Hill. So this is a, I would say, one of the lighter dungeon crawlers in the mix. Yeah, I enjoy this one. I mean, I haven't played everything on here, but I yep. enjoyed this one. So you're kind of building, building it as Exploring. you go. Yeah. So it's not a preset dungeon where a dungeon master knows where everything is type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's a good one. It's for a larger number of players, too, if I recall. Yeah, I don't exactly remember how many. And uh, there's a chance that when the haunt occurs, it's called, one of the p people in your party or your group that you're playing with turns into the bad guy. Yeah. Or sometimes the game is still the bad guy, so you're all still together. So it's kind of a cool I think a that cool adds a unique... Way. 
a unique touch to the game. And, yeah. And I look forward to it. Although I'm terrified every single time that I'm going to be the one by myself <laughs> and I'm just going to stink at it. <laughs> Uh, next one on our list, we have One Deck Dungeon. So this is number seven. One Deck Dungeon, I don't know if you've played it. Or no, I think that. I have, and I think I beat you. No, 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 you play together. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Most of these are Maybe all Maybe I'm thinking of Boss Monster. Yeah, you're thinking of Boss Monster. Okay. So One Deck Dungeon, exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's compact. It's just a deck of cards. I believe this does not have miniatures. I don't think it's going to be behind me. You just They're, said it's a deck of cards. Well, I think there's like a die or something in there. It's been a little while since I played it. Like it was a hot thing, came out like, yeah, this is great. It's a dungeon crawl with a deck of cards. Oh, the cover's like green. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. There's I'm there's there a, a couple expansions for it. Yep. I think as Asmati yep. Games makes it. Uh huh. And yeah, you're flipping through this deck. If I recall, it was kind of hard. Like I don't think I got through the dungeon. No, in fact, we've I think you and I have played maybe twice yeah, together, times. and we didn't. Very so, poorly. <laughs> it's, it's a great compact one. You can travel with it. Uh, most of these other ones you're definitely not traveling with. So, no. oh. Actually, all, the, all these you're not going to really travel with. <laughs> you might be able to travel with D&D. Yeah, yeah, I guess. You, you don't know. need too much for that. Number six, we have Imperial Assault. Star so, Wars. Star Wars. Imperial Assault. Yes, very popular game. It's Star Wars. It's everybody likes yeah Star Wars. dungeon crawl Star Wars I use dungeon loosely you're in like space outposts and <laughs> space yeah on doesn't this some one planets. have an app too there is a companion app with it yep so you can have the companion the app will be the the opposing side and do you, you can have play to play with, with the app um, it's been a while when I or do you want to play with the app? I like playing with the app because then you can play it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, otherwise, you can play with people instead of one person always having to be the bad guy. Okay. They can all be together and kind of rally against. Um, so that's what the app introduced. Mm. It's not like a Mansions of Madness remake app type of thing, if I recall. It was in addition to, like, they had the game out for a little bit. Yeah. Here's, they here's came a companion app. Yeah. Fair enough. Great game. If you like Star Wars, a lot of stuff. I don't think they're making. Imperial Assault is people. More people-based. Right. There's some monster-ish things. Well, I mean, yeah. like, instead of ships. Are they still making this? I know they're still no, printing it, but I don't think they're it, designing they're new scenarios. No, no. We have been asked this question many times if yeah. Imperial Assault is still being printed, and every time we, like, oh, man, why do people keep asking? I better go ask again. Every single time <laughs> they say yes. We're still yep. printing it. We're just not making anything new. So for now, that's still the answer. Very popular game of Fantasy Flight, Asmodee, so I don't see them stopping printing it at least anytime soon. No, every time something comes back, it's like a mad rush and people are so excited yes, to buy it. it sells it, out so. quickly. Ooh. Halfway through, number five on our list is Mice and Mystics. I love this one. This is a really good one. Uh, Plaid Hat makes it. I, it might even be behind us somewhere. I wonder what the age is on this. This is our wall of, oh yeah, it's right, right there. Here. This is our wall of, we love these games, so we're going to put them up there. You, in this one, you're a bunch of mice. Actually, there's a story, so I'm not going to tell the story, but you're a bunch yes. of mice, and you're going through dungeons. They're, they're big tiles. They're big square tiles. And, yeah, there's a story that goes along with it. So, so you'll be able to play through the story. You will, once you get through it, it's you know the story and it's kind of over. You can yeah. play it again. I mean, if we played um, it again, I think I wouldn't remember that much. I think it's as soon probably as it been starts, I would remember. Five or six like years. It, it would kick it in. It's a seven plus, though, so we're not far away from playing it, you oh, know, true. with our little One man. to four players, so you can't play this by yourself. 60 to 90 minutes per session. There are, I don't know how many sessions are in, in there, but it, it has minimal... It's not as heavy as some of these other dungeon crawlers that we're going to get to are. You have a character, and that character can progress throughout the game, but it can only progress so far. Like, you can only keep two items mm -hmm. per character. So it's not like you're leveling up constantly, and by the end you're this huge mouse that just k kills everything in one touch. Uh, you have to it's decide, like, do you want this sword or this bow for this character. Mm -hmm. I don't even think you need to play the same characters every time, right? You can switch. Like no, we can kind of ones. did play the same characters every time. And I right. like to play the same character if I like the character yep. then. But yeah, 
I don't know. This game's well Great made. Game. The art's fantastic. Yep. There's a there's a handful of expansions for it as well. So you can play through more stories and mm -hmm. yeah, it's just a great yeah. game. Mice and Mystics. Number four, we have Mansions of Madness. Oh boy. Also on the shelf somewhere behind us. This is kind of like a, also true dungeon crawler. You're going through. It's There's nice. also scenarios in this one too. App, the newest version is app based. I. I don't we recall play, if it requires it. I thought it did, but um, did we played well. it, and it made our experience more enjoyable. Yeah, I agree. The app, yeah. It is. So it, it instructs you. It has whether music. Whether you have to use it for sure or not. But. It tells you where to place the tile. Grab this tile, put it here. And grab this monster, put it here. So it, it walks you through. Mm -hmm. It's um, like an, what am I trying to think of? Cthulhu. Oh. Cthulhu style? Yeah. Eldritch horror, uh, Arkham horror. I think there's so all that, much that of that the Cthulhu y style. That whole line, yeah, Arkham horror type stuff. So if you're not into that, then um, Imperial Assault would probably be a good pick. Or there's another one on our list coming up that would be another good pick that's very similar to uh, Mansions Those of Madness. Mm -hmm. They even have the same box sizes. So. <laughs> Number three. This one you like a Down lot. Down the top three. I like it a lot. It would probably be higher in my list if I played it more. It's been a while. Maybe once I get that gaming table from Wormwood, I'll play more. Yeah. February. Yeah, next year, February. Well, they said they're <laughs> six months behind, so. Yeah, someday. Next summer. Someday I'll get it. <laughs> All right, it's number three. We have Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth. Also, right there. Great game. It's kind of like Imperial Assault. Manch the Madness requires an app to play. If you like Lord of the Rings, I love Lord of the Rings. This is Lord of the Yeah, this, is this requires the app. Oh, so, right on the back. So whether yep. the other ones require the app, we're not but off again, the top of our head. But again, one single player, so you can play this by yourself because the app will guide the bad guys. I have no one to play with. You can play this by yourself. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's fun, personally. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so great game. A couple, one, two, is there two expansions to this? I know there's a mini, there's minis. There's at I least there one three. Shadowed Paths, and then there's one more big box expansion. Mm -hmm. If there's and a third, there's the I don't know guys. if it's out yet. Yeah, there's the little guy, which kind of add miniatures to this. Mm -hmm. So there's miniatures in here. Your characters do progress. The app keeps track of everything for you, like your progression, your money, oh. all that kind of stuff. Does it save over and yes. you can, oh. Yeah, so you, you create cool. a campaign and you go back into the campaign and you kind of go along in the story. Yeah, you're fighting the evil, trying to push back the shadow, and all sorts of stuff. It seemed like you when you played it, it was kind of hard. Map, I don't, yeah, I think I lost, but I talked to a, a customer of ours, and he's like, I won every single game. I thought it was easy, so maybe we were doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Making it harder on ourselves than need be. But great game. Great game. Number two. Oh, boy, getting down there. I think this might... Upset somebody. It always does. Because it's when not this, our number When this one. game is never number one. This was definitely one that <laughs> uh, Mandy made sure came on the list. Yes. Gloomhaven. <laughs> number two, Gloomhaven. It is everything you'd expect in a dungeon crawl and D&D &D in a box, really. In at, a at, giant box. At 22 pounds. Our manager knows the exact weight off the top of our head. Yes. We don't have it behind us. No. No. Um... It's, it's a beast. Mm -hmm. It is very heavy. I have only played through like the first and second parts of it. So that's why it's, it's number two. It would, if I would rank it on all these other ones, my personal list, it would probably be further down, mainly because I've only played it twice. But because it is like number one everywhere, I, I don't know if B, it's still number one on BGG, but I, I, I moved it up higher. It's still great. If I had time, I think I would love it a lot. I don't really but. like how the turns go, but it's un they have a unique thing with the cards. Yeah, right? I don't. You, I don't I think like it's that. It's like the top of the bottom. And yeah, I would play any of these other games over that. Great game, like I said, it's really heavy. Uh, has a Jaws of the Lion expansion, which is a, a smaller box, and then is it Frosthaven? Jaws. I don't think Jaws, Jaws is small. Oh no, it's like a mid size. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They have a small one. Like I forgot. I forget. But they have a big one, Frosthaven. Which is even heavier than Gloomhaven. Yes. I think it's like 25 pounds. I don't know how they can Man, add more weight 
to the, <laughs> those boxes without it exploding. Uh, but it's, yeah. We get asked that question a lot if we're going to carry it. There, continue. Um, Frost David? I did back it. Um, oh, that's right. It was but I don't. Only trust a lot of the Kickstarter stuff until... We receive it. Yes. So we're not going to be listing it, so don't look for that anytime soon. Unless I get confirmation that it's going through distribution, which I still have not received 100% hmm. answer on that. So oh, it's going through. Yeah. Number one. Are you ready? Those of you might be able to guess what it is. <laughs> you referenced it a couple times. No, I didn't say the name. No, I know you didn't say the name. Number one is Descent. Journeys in the, I think it's Journeys in the Dark. <laughs> I'm gonna murder the name. Yeah. Uh, second edition, I have never played the first edition. Or I it's, don't see it might be third edition, I don't think it's behind us. No. So D Descent, as I mentioned, is based off of, I believe, Hero Quest, or they used it for their inspiration or something. It okay. is a dungeon crawl. It's monsters. There's a lot of monsters. So as I mentioned, if HP Lovecraft or Cthulhu is not your jam, for, with Mansions of Madness, you don't want to do Star Wars because you know that you're Star Wars out. Uh, I would go for uh, what was it? Descent. Uh, Descent. <laughs> oh. Number one, remember? Yeah, number one, Descent. It's got your stereotypical monsters, like more D and D focused type things. Have you played Descent a lot? I have not played it a ton. I don't know. No, you, there I is think I've a played companion it once, app maybe? for Descent as well. So now you can play. When we first got it. The, Apps weren't a thing, right? So right. we couldn't play. Someone had to be the bad guy, and it was always was not fun if it was just us two. Right, and right. I had to be the bad guy. I couldn't, yeah, be the good guy. I and don't mind these, being bad guys every now and like with D and D. Well, yeah. I'll be the GM. But, that's but totally with this different kind of feel. a game, the teamwork part of it yeah. is important, but also fun. Exactly. I know I don't usually like cooperative games, but in a game like this, I wouldn't want to be playing. By myself. Yep. Against you. Miniatures, like I said, they I have would expansion, lose, first a bunch of, all. of expansions, and they're coming out with an is it anniversary? You know better than me. It's either anniversary or collector's edition. I don't know. I can see the box in my head though. Of descent. So I plan on getting it, and we'll see what it's all about. But I know there was a lot of hype around it. It hasn't yeah, released yet. Part. I believe it's on our site. I don't know when. Oh it's yeah, we've release. we've advertised on Facebook, participated in the Asmodee promos oh, for that's it. that's right. It's yes. going on right now, isn't it? The ever, the, uh, yeah, I think it game. comes out in July. I mean, don't quote me on that. Yeah, so check out our Facebook page for like fun little. Yeah. You can answer who you would questions. want, who you would want to be um, out of this list of characters, and and the first one was like, um, what right. to do next. You yes. got to choose. Open. Choose a lot like, of people said like, open the box. Yep. Yeah. That's right. And do they win something for this? I think it, it helps the store get some It helps goodies. us get promos. Um, yeah. And as far as we can tell, they're giving out the promos to us, uh, one, one for every game. copy. Yeah. So we'll be including that until they yeah, run no. out, yeah. which we don't even know when they're going to run out. So you might just be happily <laughs> surprised you get a promo. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we're not really advertising it because I don't really trust whether we're going to get them for sure or not. Mm. So I don't want to make people disappointed. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of great stuff coming for Descent mm -hmm. in the very near future. All right, that was our top 10. If you have a favorite dungeon crawl game, let us know in the comments. I'd be interested to see it. Maybe if there's one out there I haven't tried yet. Yeah, I mean, and there's some from our staff list that people that didn't quite make the top 10 um, that mm -hmm. some of our staff like. I would be curious Honorable to see. Honorable mention, uh, Doom, I believe, was in the list. And uh, Nemesis. Is, you is kept saying Nemesis, too. but yeah. I we, yeah, I know. So, yeah. if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Congratulations to the winner of our Mandala Stones giveaway, Ryan Farrell. Reach out to us in our About section to claim your prize. Help out our community by spreading the word and letting others know about our content. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram under Bordlandia, and we'll see you in our next video. replacing all of my furniture with HeroQuest furniture, <laughs> even the doors.